Okay, all set to go. Leading Here's DJ LeMayhew. The third baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ripped on the ground a second. Slings to first. One out in the top of the first. Aaron Judge at the plate. One down, base is empty. Up the middle. Quick start here this evening. Two out, top of the first. Two outs, base is empty. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Next one in the dirt. Swing and a miss. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped. Out of here. Giancarlo Stanton goes deep. And they jump out front. It's 1-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient. And it paid off. And here is Anthony Rizzo. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. And that one's gone into the bleachers. They do it again. Back-to-back -back homers. And they add on. It's 2-0. Back-to-back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Glaber Torres up to hit. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Fights that one away, still one and two. The wind and the pitch. On the ground, out to short. Whips it to first. It. And that is that. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. For the Orioles, the center fielder. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. On the ground to third, and it stays fair. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. That's out to center field. Bader should have it. Puts it away for the out. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Judge pulls it down, and there's two gone. Anthony Santander at the plate. The right fielder. Kicks and deals. In 2022, Garrett Cole set the Yankees single season strikeout record with 257 punch outs. Pretty amazing mark for that historic franchise. And the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Cabrera makes the play, and that is that. All set for the start of the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. Next pitch misses, and a count two and one. In the air, left side. Hayes ranging after it. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. And now Bader up to the plate. Back up the, oh, that got him. The throw comes in too late and the defense comes away with nothing. Oh, you can tell he was stiffing that hit all the way. Great hustle getting down the line. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Wells keeping him close. Stepping in, Kyle Higashioka. Hit hard, that gets through. Around second is Bader. Into third now, so runners at the corners and one out. 
So digging in, Oswald Peraza. A bunt and it's popped up. Goes to second, yep. safe there. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. Well, he saw an opportunity to drop a drag bunt and made it work out. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to Frazier. Ow! The double play ends the inning and might have saved the game for them. Back now at Oriole Park. Bottom half of inning number two. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. Chris, you look at Garrett Cole, and he changed in terms of his profile. He threw a lot of sinkers when he was with the Pirates, when he went to Houston. Oh, everything changed. More four-seamers and more reliance on the breaking ball. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Yeah, you credit the analytics and just the great system that the Astros have notoriously had in terms of helping pitchers really discover their potential. But, yeah, he's got a great fastball. He's very confident in it, but sometimes that can also hurt him, giving up a lot of home runs. And here is Ramon Urias in there at the knees. And a count one and two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Next is the designated hitter, Gunnar Henderson. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. And down on strikes he goes. Welcome back. And now the right fielder, Aaron Judge. The 1-1. Right Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Judge out on the play. One away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two up, two down. Anthony Rizzo steps to the play. The solo homer. His first time. That's in there. One and two. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third and into the box for Baltimore. Austin Hayes. One and two here. And that's a little high. Hit on the ground to the right side. Oh, great grab on the dive. Onto the pitcher. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Jorge Mateo now. And the right-hander deals. That's through there for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stand on that double play. That's a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. So the lineup flips over. Cedric Mullins will hit next. One for one. He hauls it in for the out. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Here's Adam Frazier. Jack Swing didn't go. And it's two and one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. And now the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And now it's even up. First and second, two down. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Back here at the ballpark, out of the fourth. And stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. Match to the left side. Mateo sends it to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Up well, up we there. talk yeah, about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's oh, hand. No, no, no. The way it comes out of no, his no. hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Mullins in pursuit. 
He's got it, and there's two away. And stepping in is the speedy Harrison Bader. Reached on an infield single his first time. Out towards right center field. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. He's in there. A couple of hits in a row the for him out. here. Put a really out. nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. And now here is Kyle Higashioka. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And that one is lifted in the air. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. Back here in Baltimore, ready to go, bottom four. Here's the Oriole cleanup hitter, Anthony Santander. Out there to center. Peraza has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. To third. That's the inning. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, D.J. LeMayhew. Here's a 1-1. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And now the count is even. And the righty deals. This to third. And that chance handled. Whips it across. One up, one down. Here comes Aaron Judge. Judge rips that one. And in one hops the wall. Around first, heading for two. And Aaron Judge cruising into second. He's got a double. Everything came together for him. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Kyle Bradish takes over on the mound. He's making his second appearance of the season. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Singy, one thing Anthony Rizzo's used to is getting plunked. No one has been hit by more pitches in Major League Baseball than Anthony Rizzo since he debuted the pitch. Out to center. Mullins settles under it. He's there. He's got it. Runner tags up for third. The relay throw in there safely. Now back second base. Labor. Four. Hit in the air, right field. That's a base hit, run scores. Well done, drives in the run. Recognized the break on that pitch early, and that allowed him to keep his front shoulder in. You know, it's easy to bail on those front door breaking balls, but a great job right there, of letting it travel, then unloading a nice balanced swing. The other way, makes the play, and it's out number three. Back now at Oriole Park. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now it's Austin Hayes. Little dribbler up along third, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Swing and a slow roller. Low throw, and he can't take it out. And at first, 
So next to hit for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. Good swing out of him last time. Liner in the center. Over to Torres. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Singy, it looked like he might have beat it in real time, but that play was really close. So they want to take another look. Yeah, this is a tough decision to make, Boog, and it feels like it could go either way, but it might be worth the challenge if there's any doubt at all. Well, they are going to challenge the call, and so now the decision will be made by the umpires at the replay center back in New York. Ladies and gentlemen, the Yankees Here's are one more the look. Play. They called him safe, and I'm not sure that there's anything here to overturn the call. What about you, Singy? I don't think so, Boog. I mean, we need something obvious to overturn it, and I just don't see it. So they've made a decision, and the runner is safe. The original call is confirmed, and that leaves them without any challenges the rest of the way. Mateo leads off first with one away. Cole a check to first. Mateo back in standing. The 2 1. And another ball. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Into the outfield, base hit. The throw to third, not in time. He's safe. Adam Frazier now at the plate. Check swing, went around. And the count is one and two. And he steps off. Runners are at the corners, one away. Next oh. one misses. It's two and two. Two strike. Ground ball up the middle. To second for one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. And welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Harrison Bader. Swings through it for the K. Some high cheese for strike three. Next to hit, Kyle Higashioka. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss there. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Righty to the plate. And now it's filled up. Rip to short. Throws across oh. the diamond. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Two outs, base is empty. Oswald Peraza digs in now. Ball to strike. Try to bunt his way on. And it goes just foul. The next offering misses. Two and two. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Ryan Mountcastle. Next offering down in the dirt. Gets a piece and stays alive. And he deals. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So here's the cleanup hitter, Anthony Santander. Now he breaks his bat, LeMayhew. Now the throw to first on the run. Two up, two down. Oh, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Here's a one-two. Right through there, got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. New inning getting started. Here's the third baseman, DJ LeMayhew. 
base hit center field. Now bad. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Two and one on Judge. Line to left, and that's just foul. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. On the ground, could be two. Fires over to first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. He's already homered in this game. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that one hops the wall. Around third comes LeMayhew. He scores, and the lead is up to five. Not in time, it's a double. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Puts it in the air out towards left center. That gets down for a hit. The run comes in to score from second. It's 6-0. Back-to-back base hits. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. Good eye right there. And there's a base hit to left. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Keegan Aiken. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. At the play, Oswaldo Cabrera. And that one finds its way through. Mountcastle, relay to third, tries to get back and see. Well, he found himself now, behind now, in the count right the there, but he didn't give in. Harrison. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Next to hit, Harrison Bader. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. Gone! Big time blast, a grand slam. Harrison Bader leaves the yard. His first homer of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 10-0. Well, he comes through big time at the Grand Slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. That's a fair ball down the right field line. Around first and hustling for second. Pulls in with a double. Third hit for him today. Oswald Peraza stepping in now for the Yankees. One for three. Bounce to the left side, and it gets by him. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. In there for strike three. No throw, safe at second. Bottom of the inning and into the box for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. New pitcher for the Yankees, Jonathan Loisica. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. And next is the designated hitter, Gunnar Henderson. That one's in there. It's a ball and two strikes. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. The pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Man at first, Austin Hayes. The next to hit. And one and two. Oh, that's ball. that slurf right there. Right. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. Three. So tough to get that barrel to. Caught him looking for the K. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jorge Mateo. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And a pitch. In the air, fairly deep to right field. No trouble here. Puts 
back here at the ballpark. And now Aaron Judge. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Here's Stanton now. He's already homered here in this one. Step off throw to first oh, and judge back in safely. And now the lefty. Uh. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. On the ground, two ball. Beats the second, out there. On a Mount Castle, it's a double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute it. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. He circles the bases, and they add to their lead. It's 11-0. On the mound now, Joey Crable. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Here comes Glaber Torres. And the pitch. That's a base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. That's back to back singles for him. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now. On the ground to first. Takes it himself. It. Out number three. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the Orioles' leadoff hitter, Cedric Mullins. Swung on, belted. Bader going back, back some more. Racing back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Line drive, and that's a fair ball. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Judge hustles it back in, and they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. One down, and here's the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. Fights it off, he'll see another. Hey. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Anthony Santander. The one two got him looking froze him back here in Baltimore all set to start the ninth in this one and stepping in for the Yankees Harrison Bader that one not close two balls and a strike this one in the air right field and he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The punch out there, and there's one down. And up next for New York, Kyle Higashioka. Here's a 1-1. And a foul ball. And a 1-2. That one drifts inside. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And that one in the air center field. Mullins on his horse. High bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. So, man aboard, and next for New York, Oswald Peraza. Runner leads away at second. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Man at second. 
Foul ball still a one and two count. At the belt and fires. Fouls it off still one and two. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Gathers and throws to first. Play is made, two out. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. And a 1-1. One -one. On the ground, right side. And that one handled in plenty of time to first. Welcome back. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman, kicks and fires. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. The bat. The third and at first, Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Orioles. And a pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And a swing and a miss, down on strikes, one down. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. Here's a one-one. That one fouled off. Rutschman over at first with one away. The next pitch misses, two and two. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. Now it's going to be Austin Hayes. Going to count one and two. Fly ball to right. He's got it. Ball game. The Yankees take the first two games of this series on the road. Well, when you reel off eight wins in a row, you're this close to double digits. And now all of a sudden, it's a challenge within a challenge to get two more wins to get to 10. But there's definitely a high level of confidence that these guys are playing at right now. And that's one of those things. You don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to disturb things. Make sure the clubhouse guy is giving you the same good food he's been giving you 